Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I'm going to go over how you're able to make a ton of gold in New World, and this is the main way I have been making gold. Now, there are a bunch of different things I have to go over in this video, and the least important is kind of the farm route itself. Now, the main thing we're going to be doing for this farm is harvesting gold ore. Now, I recently did a video that was the best gold ore farm in New World, and that is the route we're going to be taking and at the end of this video i will have a sped up version of that run so if you want to go check that out at the start or go check out that other video it's going to be that same exact farm route and the basis of this farm is you're going to be cutting the gems that you get from harvesting the gold ore and the other ores along that farm route and we will go over the prices in a second and how you go about cutting these gems but first off one of the most important things about getting more gems and about doing that farm route is you want to have the highest possible luck you can get. And I have a full set of luck gear and it does not matter how good the gear is. It doesn't matter what level it is and it doesn't matter if it's light, medium, or heavy. You just want to get a full set of armor with the reinforced mining luck on it. So I have a full set. We have 3.7, 3.7, 3.4, 2.7, and 3.6. And all of these will give you an increased chance to get rare items from mining. So all all of these will be increasing the chance for you to get these gems and also you can get this on your mining pick as well my star metal pick has a 6.4 percent increased chance so with all this put together i'm sitting around 25 percent increased chance to get rare items and as you'll see in the farm this means you are getting a ton of gems doing one run of this farm and the reason we're specifically farming gold ore is because it at least guarantees guarantees tier three gems because if we went down to get iron ore or silver ore those would also be giving us tier two gems so we want that tier three gems and gold ore is the best ore to farm those gems with it's super abundant and it has a good chance to give gems with all of our luck gear so once you get done with doing a run and getting all your gems, you're going to come to the stone cutting table in any of the settlements. And once you get in here, you're going to want to skip cutting the tier two cut flawed gems, and you're going to want to go down to the common tier three gems. These are what you're going to want to be cutting and selling. Now, the only things you're going to need is you're going to need any of the tier three gems, and you're going to need different types of wisps. Now to get wisps, you either buy them or you take all the different moats in the game you take them to a arcane repository and you turn them into wisps and then once you have all that you're going to go through and just cut all of these different gems cut all of them all of them are going to sell very frequently some of them are going to be a lot more expensive than others like these cut diamonds here on my server are going for a hundred or a little over 100 gold a piece so you're just going to cut all of these something else you can do is you can go down to common gems fusion and this will allow you to fuse the tier two gems into tier three gems as well and that also requires wisps to do that so i'd say cut all the gems you have because you want to start cutting those and selling those with the wisps and then if you have any stuff left over go ahead and fuse all the gems down there and then recut the ones you can cut so once you get done cutting all of your gems you're going to take them to a trading post and then you're just going to search for cut and search for whatever gems you have and there all going to be the tier three cut versions so let's check diamonds because i know these sell pretty well on my server and for a lot of gold and i have a few of them so what we're gonna do we're gonna search these now i always sell for the lowest price among all of the settlements i think if there's a big price difference usually people are just gonna go to a different settlement to end up buying it now as you can see here even at these low prices they're going for 100 gold but as you can see there's only four total available and, and one person is selling three of them and usually i've been able to sell these cut diamonds for around the 150 gold and i think these ones will go quick and then mine will probably still end up selling so what you would do you would place sell order and i'm gonna put these in for 149 gold because i think that's what i can get out of these and then i would recommend never putting stuff up for the 14 days it starts on that's also going to be a lot more listing fee i always put mine down to three days because the market is going to switch so much in three days that that should be a good time to put it up for and you save a little bit of 
of gold on the listing fee, then you're just going to place your order and that's all you're going to be doing. And you can do this with all of the gems and all of the gems are going to sell pretty quickly because most people aren't going to go cut their own gems when they get a new piece of gear. So they're going to just spend the gold to buy these. So they're going to sell pretty quickly. And a lot of them are selling for a decent amount of gold. So I know the Carnelians also sell for a good amount. Yeah, 175 for the Carnelians. The Carnelians, I think, are going to be the most expensive most of the time. They're sitting at 175 right here. I've sold them in the past day or two for upwards of 250 gold. It just depends how many are up and how much people are undercutting the price. And I will also have a screenshot of all of the loot I got at the end of one run of this gold or wrap. Like I said, at the end of the video, I'll have a sped up version of that route. And like I said, I did a video on this route before. So if you want to check that out or just look at the end of this video for a sped up full version of the run. And that is pretty much the entirety of this farm. You're just going to get yourself a bunch of luck gear for mining. You're going to go to this farm route. You're going to harvest all of this gold ore. You're going to go back to the settlement, cut all of those gems, put them up on the trading post and make a ridiculous amount of gold doing it. So that is the entirety of the farm. So subscribe if you want to see more New World or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this gold farm. And thanks for watching.